Hi, I'm Jay, the Happy Colorist, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have the start of um, maybe a little video series for you. Um, and let me just um, explain a bit what I'm what I'm planning to do before we get right in. Um, through the last um, days and, and weeks I um, fell in love with several um, artists that were new to me and that had a lot of um, published books like um, I really got interested in the Jade Summer publishing group um, Heather Valentin um, Selena Fennec Holly, um, um, and Molly Harrison and all of these um, artists have like tens and dozens of um, already released books so if you're like me and you're kind of new to their art then it gets a bit you know and you only I mean you don't have the money to you know buy them all right you want to start with maybe one or two um, to see whether you like it and then you know maybe build your collection from there so um, it, it um, of course you can find you know flip throughs to all kinds of books but I've um, when I was just you know watching all kinds of YouTube videos because I was getting into their um, art style I really liked those videos where people just showed all of the books they had from a from from a certain artist because then the books were next to each other and I could you know compare because also the style of an artist changes over time um, and maybe you like the earlier works better than the later ones or they have different series or whatever and it just you know made it really easy for me to to guide me a bit um even if that person doing the video didn't have all of their works that's not you know that wasn't necessary um and i enjoy watching um all of those videos um a lot so i thought i would um make a little uh, series about um the artists i have a lot of um art from just you know in case people um, are interested in them. So um, today, because um, it was the, the latest artist I got into and I had the... Um, I just, as I just, just told you, um, I watched a lot of videos and lo tried to compare a lot and looked at all of their art. Um, so the artist is um, Fabrica Fantasy. Um, She's an Eastern European artist. I want to say Russian. I am not quite sure. Um, and you can get her books only on her um, web shop. She sells them in, as a physical copy, but also um, digitally. And I only have the digital versions because, um, as have, as it's so often when when the artists are not local. Um, the, the shipping is so is so prohibitive to me that I rather go with the um, digital copies, even though I'd love to have the the physical ones. But it just gets um, unreasonable to me, so I rather print them. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a <laughs> that you know this is going to be a bit of a, a complicated video to show you all their works. Um, I'll try to show you the things that I have printed out, or just you know. Um, blend in um, the some of the pages while I'm talking, so that you can get a good can get a good idea um, of their art style because that is why you're here, right? Um, Fabrica Fantasy, as I said, she has um, a web store. You can go check it out. I'm going to link it to you in the description box below. Um, she has several um, coloring books out. And she also does um, digital stamps, um, so you can get um, all of that in her web store. Her latest coloring book is called Goddess of Miss, and that's also the one what that got me got me really interested in her art because I'm, as you know, I'm I'm such a sucker for um, all things mythological, all, all um, coloring books that are themed. I'm already super into and. Um, if it's then mythological, you know, I'm lost. So she has um, done pictures of all kinds of goddesses. Um, you can see here a little overview of what um, is in the book. Um, it's very, very small. So I'm going to show you a couple of um, sample pictures so that you can get a idea of the, of the style. 
Um, I printed the, the pictures that I thought were, were my favorites and I want to color. So um, the if you go to her web shop, all the pictures have names. I don't know how it is in the physical book, um, but if you um, print it, there comes come no, comes no name with. But um, this is called um, Inari near Mirror Pond, and you can see you know her. She's a Inari, um, and her actual like fox spirit um, is shown in a, as a mirror image. And I really love um, that the pictures are, they all have a frame like this. Um, that, and yet the, sometimes the pictures just go over the frame and they are not very big. Um, as you can see, it, it's a square picture and it fills two thirds of this um, page. So even though they are very, very intricate, um, it shouldn't take that much time to actually color one. And absolutely love this and um, she also said the books then also have like two page spreads so to say um, I this is uh, Inari in the magical garden I've um, wrote the little name down there and um, this is uh, shrunken down to about I think 85 90 percent of the size just so that it just fit on an a4 page um the original picture was a bit bigger and if you get it physically um you can um fold it out um i think this is uh, still okay to color it gets a bit small in the details but it should still be okay and isn't this gorgeous there's a little toady in the background oh, is it no it's not toady it's just a gate and she's just in this Japanese garden and I just think the, the illustration is gorgeous. I really need to get on and color some of it. Um, and some others that I haven't printed out, I'll just show you um, the digital, digital file while I talk. Um, um, you can get like Idun and the Magic Apple um, as a freebie, I think. Um, her store has several freebies of, of her books. Just you know, go check out the store and there should be um, uh, freebies to download. I really love that one. Um, and then also, of course, the more you know, Egyptian ones, Bastard. Um, I think there are two pictures of Bastard. Um, yeah, well, you know, you know me, me and the kitties, and it just goes um, all through, you know, through all the world, you know, Asian mythology, European, um, yeah, all kinds of, and I just love, love her art style, it's gorgeous. So this is um, Goddess of Myth by Fabrica Fantasy. Um, this is her latest book. Um, and one of her earlier ones, I don't know whether it's the first, it could be, um, is Forest Spirits. Um, this is a little overview over the pictures that are in there. Um, and it's basically, I think it has a kind, it has a story there too. Um, and to all the other pictures that I will show you and books that I show you, um, I don't own the actual PDF that you can buy in the store, but I have the JPEG um, version that comes with her Digi uh, Club. You can sign up to that for 12 months and you get access to um, um, dozens and dozens and dozens, I think they, they say 170 images um, and more. Um, and they do include some, but not all, of um, the pictures from the books. So the Goddess of Mythology I got as a PDF and the, the rest of the um, images. Um, I don't have all of the images from the book, but I have a good selection too, um, so that you can make, make up your mind, I hope. And um, if you're interested in one of her books, um, she shows all the pictures that I included in her web store. Um, so don't be confused if some of my um, overviews here don't show all the pictures because this is only this only shows what I have. So this is for Forest Spirits One, um, and as the name says, it's um, all kinds of story. Uh, Forest Spirits. I'll just show you a little selection. This is um, the Water Fairy and Dragon. I think this is also a freebie you can get on her site. I love love this again you have the frame 
and um, parts of the image go over the frame. This little guy is even sitting on the frame. It's a very tiny fairy with a turtle in the background and a playful dragon here. I love, love this image. It's gorgeous. Then um, this is the forest keeper. Little elf, dryad, nymph, creature with a little rabbit. And again, the frame. There's even the little, little bee sitting here. Gorgeous. And here we have a forest. Oh, I need to get it. Well, the sun is shining in now. It's way too, way too loud. Oh, can you see? This is the forest witch. Um, she's sitting at the pond. Little wolf companion in the background and shows her a mirror image that maybe she's actually an old, old crone. Um, I have, since I recorded this video, um, finished one picture from the Forest Spirits 1 book and uh, so I wanted to just quickly cut this in the appropriate place um, to show you how a finished picture um, it looks like that's always helpful i think so this is the forest witch from ah oh, sorry for the glare from the forest spirits um here she is forest spirits one and this is how she looks um finished and um, while coloring i noticed that fabrica has um, added some shadows they're very 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 light and um hard to see but i'll show you i show them to them on um on the on the picture if you um if you have the file digitally you can zoom in and then see that there are actual um, little dots and um, points um, guiding you along it's very faint so you can't see it on the finished picture um but it was mainly i don't think i can it doesn't show anymore and it was really faint um but it was you know very slight guide um, and i really liked um the help it got me um yeah this is how this um, looks finished especially with the border i made this to look like a like a wooden frame yeah i hope that helps illustrate how the black and white pictures um can look and i'll let you get on with the video again thank you so yeah and the forest spirits one you get let me change the lighting you know I bet if I do, then the sun goes away and then... Okay, now you can actually see something again, right? Um, so yeah, this uh, it's just, you know, all, all creatures of the forest, um, very fantasy-like. And then um, this is the second, um, like the follow-up to Forest Spirits 2. I think this is way too dark now. Sorry for the lighting, my camera is just overwhelmed with the sudden sun. <laughs> so. This is Forest Spirits 2. I think this is her second um, newest book. Again, all kinds of creatures of the forest, um, very fantasy-like. Like this is the forest keeper. Again, a little dryad, nymph, creature. This is an elf plucking flowers in the in the forest and there's a little boy maybe you know sneaking up to her it's so sweet and i know i've po pointed it out all the time now but just look at all the the frames and each you know um pictures uh, in a different frame it's so gorgeous and this one is one of my favorites too the young deer with the little water spirit and again the frame this one has flowers here and the little water spirit Let's play, maybe playing with the, or startling the deer. I don't know. Super, super sweet. So this is Forest Spirits 2. This is the pictures that I have, but again, this is not all of them. Just um, go check out the, the web shop if you're interested. They have um, more. Then um, this is her Fantasy Queens series. Um, you can see um, it's all kinds of female characters um, from you know the dragon queen to an elf 
I think that there's a vampire in here. Let's just gonna flip through some of the pictures. So yeah, this is um, this is a nymph. Um, to me, she just looks like Aphrodite in, in Greek mythology or something. Um, you can see that the pictures here are of a different um, um, format, and they don't have frames. It's like, can you see the difference? It's a bit. I think it's an earlier earlier works. This is the vampire marchioness, and I just love the. I'm not you know one for gothic and and such, but look look at the little happy bats here and the tiny kitty and you know she has these wanted posters and I just love this and then here we have a gnome princess I think she looks a bit more like a dwarf um, and you know the the wines just kind of frame her I just love these pictures then she has also a like a mermaid book out it's called sea tales um, and uh, yeah, again, lovely, lovely images, not only of mermaids, but also other sea creatures. Um, this is my favorite, the mermaid. Um, but there are others that are super lovely. Like I love this one with the, um, is it a monkey meeting the hippopotam? No, hippocampus. Is it, a, it's a mixture between a pegasus and a, yeah. This is beautiful. Other little boys being super happy riding on her on the turtle and you know, waving at the flying fish. Um, yeah, gorgeous. If you're into mermaids, this is the book for you. And again, um, there are more um, pictures in the book. I think twenty, twenty-two ish. Um, then um, she also this is not this these were the the books that she has she has the sea tales the forest spirits one and two goddesses goddess of myth and the fantasy queens um, and then as i said she has um like dig, diggy stamps and diggy stamps collection and one of um one of these collections is the creatures of magic and um has the fairies for the four seasons so spring summer autumn and winter and then like a wizard a witch and little fairy theme so it so it's um has different kinds of images like i printed you the i really love the um seasonal fairy so this is the spring one as you can see with the budding flowers and this one is the summer one with bountiful fruits already. And then, as I said, she has um, um, a lot more like digi stamps and um, for card making, and I didn't print them, um, but there are several that are super, super queer. Just, you know, um, if that's your thing, um, go check it out. But I, um, as far as um, coloring books go, Goddess of Myths, let me just flip through and get them again. Forest Spirits 1, 2, the Fantasy Queens, and the Sea Tales. So yeah, wonderful um, artists, wonderful f um, pictures. If you're into um, like fantasy style, um, uh, fairies or elves or you know woodland creatures and also mermaids, um, I think her style is super gorgeous. And I love the the way the pictures are framed. This, if this is your thing, I can really recommend this artist. And I hope um, my little collection of, of pictures was, was helpful to you if you're trying to make a decision about um, which to get. If you um, if this was helpful to you or if you have decided to get something um, from this artist, please, you know, leave me leave me um, a comment um, in the comment section below. I'd love um, to hear from you and um, yeah, um, I need to make one of these pictures. I printed out one of my next projects. I think this one. It's so sweet with a dragon. I love this one. Um, again, I'm pretty sure this is a freebie on her web shop. Go check it out. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Um, as I said, I'll try to make this a little um, series of collection videos with all the um, 
yeah, my favorite artists will have a lot of works from them to um, just you know, show their works together. Thank you very much and until next time. Bye.